was pleased to be an observer of this election. It was the best election held that I've ever witnessed. It uh, very safe, fail safe, uh, fair, and well operated. Made me feel good. I've been involved in this issue since 1996. I had the first vote on the floor of the House, passed by one vote. But it is time we stop colonizing Puerto Rico. It is time that we recognize 350, 3,500,000 Puerto Rican citizens of America. It is time that the Congress steps up and does their job to take and make the mistake as they have spoken. Overwhelmingly, 97%. We will, in fact, uh, pass a bill, or uh, we will recognize this plebiscite and make it the 51st state, and we are the only ones that have the constitutional authority to do that, the Congress. I'd say it's time for Congress to act to make Puerto Rico, as a people sought to do so, a state, the 51st state of this union. Uh, to be there in a position uh, to have jurisdiction over Puerto Rico and view uh, if a plebiscite were called uh, to make sure it was in compliance with law. We had the pleasure of both going down on a bipartisan uh, trip on behalf of the subcommittee to review the election. We found it to be in compliance with law. We found it to be accessible uh, to all uh, Puerto Ricans on the island. And we found it to be uh, also duly noted. And so now there's only really a, a few things that remain. Uh, a civil rights movement for equality for the people of Puerto Rico now that they've made their, determiners, their determination. We have a people who serve in the United States military in overwhelming margins, a people who pay their federal taxes, who pledge allegiance to our flag, but can't vote for the President of the United States, don't have voting members of Congress or the Senate. And now it's up to Congress to make their final determination. Uh, and certainly, now that the people of Puerto Rico are decided, uh, we'll certainly be supporting uh, their entry into the union as the 51st state. And uh, going forward, it may be a short road or a long road, but we're committed to making sure the will of the people uh, is exhibited and supported. Uh, as you can see, uh, the voice of the people was loud and clear. Uh, we expect uh, that Congress will react uh, we will be here making sure that the environment gets uh, generated and our expectation is, is action. We would like to thank uh, once again uh, Congressman Young, Congressman Soto, uh, Mr. Emmert and Secretary uh, of State for uh, their part in, in this effort and we would like to invite uh, all of those that support civil rights, all of those that support uh, democratic rights, all of those that love uh, the context of that the United States as a standard bearer for democracy in the world to help us end this last chapter uh, of colonialism, uh, to help us allow the United States in good standing and be able to speak about democracy in other jurisdictions without having uh, the uh, limitation of doing so based on still uh, having uh, disenfranchised 3.5 million U.S. citizens uh, that can't vote in Puerto Rico, that can't vote for their commander-in-chief, and that want to be a uh, fully integral part of the United States.